he would sign his letter, quote-unquote, without wax. I had to Google this right away. Without wax translates to sincera, which over time has changed into sincere or sincerely. It actually has an interesting origin story. Sculptors, back a long time ago, would fill in any mistakes with wax. But a perfect sculpture, one without nicks or imperfections, would then be without wax. November 26th, 2010. John Skelton went for an early morning drive. 5 a.m., uh, he's near Holiday City, and then at 6.46, approximately, he's back home. It's this window of time that I, I suspect that, you know, he did something with the boys. He's done nothing to confirm or deny or accept the fact that he did something very tragic to these boys. He's a coward, and he is not a man. It's well known that I, you know, believe that he murdered his son. Never did any of us see the person he became. An offender at a correctional facility attempted to make a collect call to this number. Let's get caught up. I'm Logan Hefner, a junior at Adrian College. I'm working on a documentary alongside a couple of my friends at AC. That's me, Kyle Stratton, a senior, getting ready to graduate in May. And I'm Brandon Milligan. I'll be graduating later this year as well. We all wanted to pursue a challenging independent study and to put our last few years of college to the test. So we decided to team up with a common interest in film and create a feature length documentary. Our professor and advisor on this project offered to take the reins and direct the film as he had had some experience in the past. Then he told us the story of Alexander, Andrew, and Tanner Skelton, and everything changed. We listened, we read, and watched everything we could find on the case. We had no doubts about wanting to tell this story. And now we're in Marenzi, trying to figure it all out. Skelton Brothers. Marenzi, Michigan. Never to be seen again. 